Hello, welcome to this video. I would like to show you something that we've been working on in the last couple of months and also I wanted to let you know that we've created a business data cake upon the particle IO ecosystem, upon the hardware and the software, so device OS and device cloud. And we've decided to open this up to the public, so that means that the particle community can build or can integrate their um, particle devices into the data cake cloud. And here you can see one of the pieces from the data cake cloud, which is Node Red, native Node Red. And we've been integrating this into something special called Cake Red. And Cake Red is nothing else than a service for running managed Node Red in the cloud. So um, it's an optional in app purchase or in cloud purchase. And you can um, yeah, activate instances, and every instance is its own server, um, which is running Node Red inside a Docker container. This has been created seven uh, days ago. It um, is currently on trail, which is ending uh, in the week. It's running system status, CPU, memory, and so on. And it's integrated with some special added security options. Um, it's running behind a proxy and a firewall and so on. Yeah, and I've been playing around with this. Um, currently, I have a particle asset tracker. Um, it's still a placed in the outside because there's here's no GPS. And I've installed the um, particle extension into Node Red. You can do this so Cake Red means it's a non-restricted Node Red. There are no limitations, rate limiting and so on. And you can install all the extensions you know. So for example, like this one, we've installed the um, particle extension and also the world map extension. I've bound this here to the API to one of my specific devices and um, here the device is sending um, comma separated values so for latitude, longitude, speed, bearing, name uh, and so on. I pack this into a function and I just forward this to the map extension and for example this is the position uh, it takes a while just have, there it is and as you can see this is the device which is here located in the data cake office and as you can see it's currently outside um, but still moving a little bit because it's not always um, fixed to that position and it's also recording a path um, yeah, and this was done pretty easy just by activating a single KGRED instance, by getting into KGRED, um, moving the particle node onto the flow, configuring it and forwarding it to the world map. But there's even more in the data cake portal. For example, we have our own dashboard editor where you simply can add devices and um, yeah, create dashboards and create rules and so on. And I wanted to give you um, a small overview of this and we um, continue um, with Cake Red. There will be a native integration which is just under development. It just takes us two more days or so. And now what we are going to do is that we create a new device. So I show you how easily it is to hook up particle cake red and then bring um, the data into our portal. So first of all, we go into workspaces. This here, by the way, is the demo workspace. And all the things you see here are sub workspaces. And this is something that makes our portal so unique because when we started building that business, we had customers who came um, yeah, from which are mid-sized industrial companies and they um, were lo all looking for a solution where they can integrate their distributors, clients and so on. And we thought of creating workspaces. It's very similar to Slack workspaces. Here you have your own 
um, workspaces for customers and so on, for employees and so on. I'm going to um, create a new device into our own um, workspace, which we see here. We go over to devices. Uh, here you also see persons, um, which allows you to invite team members by um, putting in their email and um, yeah, setting a role. Here we have all the devices and we create a new device. Here we see D0 and TF Master, which are two of our products, self-created products upon the or based on the particle hardware. We have API devices and we have Tinkerforge MQTT, but this is coming just later on. In this example, uh, in the um, upcoming release, there will be a fifth um, element, which is native particle. But for now, we create an API device and we call that um, particle, I'm sorry, asset tracker API. We add the device and configure it. So here you see the configuration um, forms. We can put a location here um, of this data cake. We can add tags. Um, we can add metadata. Online timeout, which is like for cellular devices, um, 23 minutes. For Wi-Fi devices, it could be up to one minute or so. Um, now we have the option to add database fields, and we do this for the S tracker now, which, um, for example, is sending speed, um, speed display units, uh, kilometers per hour. We add another unit for um, course. Buring, we could say. We add another unit for longitude and of course the latitude and we can also add the altitude. All floats, um, I guess altitude will be in meters. I'm not pretty sure but I, we can change that afterwards. So now we have fields for longitude, latitude, bearing, speed, and altitude. So these values are um, coming from the asset tracker. And now we're going to connect the created um, particle asset tracker API device to the real device using KGRED. Before we um, connect the device to the particle device here in the data cake portal, we are going to create a dashboard using our dashboard editor. Um, we simply do this by clicking this button here. Here you can drag rows on the screen and for example values. Let's take three of them for speed, earring, and the altitude. So, and we also can put in a chart, very simple, um, just by selecting speed mm, and altitude, select the color for both. Um, line chart, we can also choose bar chart, and we want the time frame. We, um, we could do um, yeah, time ranges for this hour, which is really that current hour, so it's not a moving window. But if you want something that is moving for like 24 hours, we could say um, we want the time frame other. And we're using a description language one day ago and now, and here you see what that means. The resolution is how dense the data is. It's like quantization. We can set this to one minute. Um, yeah, access, legend. Fill up missing data. If the device is offline and doesn't send any data, um, within one minute it will be marked as offline, so there's a gap. But we, yes, we want this. So we deactivate it, save it, and um, save by quitting the edit mode. And here is see the beautiful dashboard we just created. Um, there's nothing on it because we have to make the connection between the device and the particle um, device in the data cake cloud. And we are doing this by using cake red now. There will be a native 
integration very, very soon uh, in the next days. Um, this will be another way, but this is the way using Cake Red. So, back to Cake Red. So, I've edited this in the meantime, and as you can see here, the payload is very simple. It's a JSON object, and you simply um, put in the field names, the field identifiers, and the values you want. And it's everything you need. Next, we'll be just hooking it up to the extension. Um, we move that here in. And for debug purposes, we can put out what the node will bring. So we deploy this here. Oh, there was something. Oh, yep, of course. It has to be like this. We deploy this and we'll see what the debug output will bring. It um, brought us a success. That means the data is now flowing into the data cake portal. And as we can see here, it's the current bearing, the altitude, and the speed in kilometers. So that was so easy. And you also can see that there is um, actually data coming. But since this is, this is full 24 hours, um, it's a bit yeah, error. And we also can go into the history, which is our database viewer. And we can see here, these are the current values, average value, maximum value, and so on. We can now select um, things here in the history, um, like, um, um, no, not longitude, but the altitude. And we could, for example, um, view the um, data for a given time range or for day, and then we can easily compare days by moving them. And we can also set the resolution and also export data to um, Excel and so on. And we can also use the um, Open API to bring our data. Yeah, but this currently is um, the most easiest or the fastest way without any programming at all um, to hook up particle devices using, for example, Cake Reds. Next, um, there will be the native particle integration. It takes us a few more days, like two or so. And then I will make another video and show you how easily it is to hook this up. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.